Bug blog. My name is Craig. I'm just going to take a couple minutes to talk to you about rats. Rats are a problem constantly, but as winter is approaching, they are coming closer to the houses looking for harborage for the winter, as is all wildlife. So you need to not invite them. A few tips are to make sure you pick up the food source. You know, just scan. If, if you got acorns, pecans, fallen fruit, dog food left out at night, unsecured garbage bags, they're going to feed, they're going to come up closer to where, where you're feeding them. Uh, just wanted to point out a couple things. In the neighborhood I'm working today, which is an older neighborhood, you got a lot of privacy fences. Uh, high privacy fence, lots of ivy. Uh, let me just show you over here. On privacy fences, a lot of times they will build these little boxes around the post uh, to cover up the post. Also gives the rats a nice hiding place behind there, they'll build their nest in there. So you want to do something to uh, keep the rat population down in these areas. Uh, you definitely want to pick up the food like I've stated. But uh, let me just show you also here a little uh, bird, net, bird box somebody put up. And you can see rats have chewed around there. They've taken harborage in there sometimes. So you may want to move that on a pole out in the yard or something like that. That's, that's a good good idea. Let me just bring your attention to one of the tools in our toolboxes. Uh, when it comes to rodent control, it's not, you got to really take a holistic approach. You got to look at everything, reducing food supply. Uh, you can use traps, you can use bait. Uh, definitely look at exclusion, which is blocking the holes that they're getting in to your house. Uh, a lot of different things we'll cover in upcoming videos. But right here, what we've done is a little snap trap. We use a T-Rex because they're easy to set and they're easy to release once you do have a rat in there. You can just shake him off into a trash can. You'd always want to use gloves, put them in a secured Ziploc, little, or not a Ziploc, but a little bag, zip, you know, fold it up. You don't want to contaminate anything else with the dead rodent because they do carry a lot of diseases. What I've done here is taken a little piece of metal, bent it at a 45, and slipped it in behind this flat, if you can see this. That way it's nice and secured. Got a little edge to set this on. Set the trap, and it's ready to go. Now when the rat comes down through there, because they run along those rails, they will uh, they'll be dead. It's quick. It's humane, whether you bleeding hearts out there may not agree. It's, it is quick. Uh, it'll take care of them pretty quick. You don't want the rats around chewing up things, spreading disease, so you do need to keep things under control. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.